Hello everyone. Next step, configurability. In this session, we'll be discussing how to externalize configuration related to your service. So if we go back to our VS Code, you can see that we have hard coded all the configurations related to MySQL client. So needless to say, if you do this, every time you deploy this service in different environments, you might have to recompile it because these configurations are hard coded. So instead of internalizing these configurations, what we need to do is externalize. So in Ballina, there's a nice way to do this. We call it configurable. Let's see how we can use that feature to achieve our requirement. So the first thing we need to do is to define a record. So let's just say database config score. And the phase should be first user password database port. All right, so those are the values we want. So now let's create a variable expressing the new type. Now, what we can do is in front of that variable, we can add the keyword configurable. So if you do that, for the right hand side, you have two options. One option is to add a question mark. If you do that, you have to provide the values related to this phase using one of the options provided by the configurable bridge. There are three options. In this case, we'll be using config tamar option. I'll get to other options later. So we can use that. Before we use that, let's try to run this service and see. Can anyone guess the output in the console? Okay, so it gives an error as expected. So you can see that the error says value not provided for required configurable variable config, database config, which is this one. So the idea here is, if you try to start the service without providing the required configuration, it will exit immediately. So why do we need to do this? So imagine you have some service and say you're not using this feature. So what could happen is that you might deploy the service in production without production or any other environment without even noticing you haven't provided all the required configuration. So uh, your service might be running for weeks and suddenly you might get an error that you didn't expect. So that kind of things won't happen in this case because as soon as you start the service, it will exit if the required values are not given. Okay, so now this time let's give a config tomorrow. Again, uh, just to save time, I'll just copy the values from GitHub repository. You can also do, do the same if you want to. Right, so if you look at here, you can see the name I have given here is matched with the name I have given here. That is very important. And then you can see all the required fields are populated as needed. Now, what we can do is we can go back to our service and run the service. Okay, the service is running, but we actually forgot one thing to do. Can anyone guess what it is? So this time the service is starting without any issue, but we actually forgot to use this to replace the hard coded values. So let's just do that. I'm just using spread operator to 
expand the values. Right, so now let's try the service and see one more time. Let's open this file. Right, so let's send a request. Okay, so it is working as expected. Let me go back to my code. So here, instead of giving a question mark, you can do something else as well. So what you can do is you can give a default value. So you can just uh, provide host value. So basically what you can do is you can uh, create a value of this type and provide it here. So then uh, what happens is that uh, it will use that value in case you haven't provided values using options provided by the configurable feature. Right. So now I just want to go to the browser. Let's quickly go to ballerina.io, learn page and search for remember. So here you can see this article on how to use this feature. So if I go here, as I mentioned, it explains what are the options we have. So one option is to use config toml. The option is to use command line, or you can even use environment variables. So I'm not going to go into details of this. If you're interested, you can visit learn page and search for config, config and observe and get the details you want. Okay, that's all I wanted to discuss in this session.